Two tries from French winger Cedric Amush got Staffordshire seconds on their way as they secured the Midlands Conference Division 3B title with a convincing 75-6 victory over the University of East Anglia. Conditions at Stoke Rugby Field did not make it easy for the players, but that did not seem to bother Rich Hope, the staff's kicker, chasing down the Gary Owen and then adding the spoils with the boot as the Stoke boys took a stranglehold in the game. It wasn't all flair and finesse though, as prop Sam Winchcombe demonstrated with this powerful run. It took five men to eventually get him to the floor, but staffs were quick to the breakdown. Some quick thinking released James Cordell, who showed great awareness to put Chris Calapo through for the first of his five tries, giving the home side a comfortable half-time lead. The side from Norcup provided some plucky resistance at the start of the second half, but they could not break through the disciplined and dogged staff's pack. The home side got back into their stride though, when a lovely passing move provided Kalapo with some good ball. The man nicknamed Saki after England star Paul Saki outpaced even our cameraman to go over in the corner. He then turned provider, his 60-yard run and then pass, giving Mark Frog at the chance for an easy score under the posts. The full-back then took a well-deserved rest as the players in the field began to tire. The only salvation for UEA came from the boot of Mike Parr, his two penalties giving the visitors their only points of the game. It was left to opposite number Rich Hope to have the last word though. Straight from the line out, he exploited a gap to weave his way through to wrap up the scoring. Another convincing victory as the staff's bandwagon rolls on. You obviously must be delighted with that league victory. Of course I am. I mean, uh, we've worked hard all season and we've just got our just got our just results, champions of the league. Um, well, I'm over the moon, over and, the moon. And obviously with the, the great run of form, you've got the head of steam, you must think you deserve it. Oh uh, yeah, of course. I mean, like we've had very good coaches, we've just got, we just kept winning and winning and winning and roll on cup matches, we've got a couple of cup matches to come up and we've got a varsity as well obviously, so looking mm -hmm. forward to both of them. Do you think that the, the positive morale and spirit that we saw in the camp at the end there, <laughs> do you think that's contributed to the, the great run of form you've got? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, as, as a group of lads, we've all gelled very well. We've worked hard this year on team bonding, team bonding exercises, and uh, tried to get as close as we can together, obviously, off the pitch, so we can uh, perform as well as we can on the pitch. So, yeah, very pleased. Excellent. And finally, going into varsity, like you mentioned, are you quite confident you're going to turn keel over? Of course we are. Of course we are, yeah. Excellent. Thanks very much. Cheers. Congratulations. A very happy James Parks there in the Stoke players in celebratory mood as they celebrate wrapping up the league title, in truth, at a canter. Stuart Hodge reporting from a freezing Stoke rugby field. Perfect. Thanks for that Stuart and now a look at the results for the rest of this week's games. 